my dear friends allowed me to start breaking the protocols. All protocols break. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, we had very productive work during those two days here. And uh, let me tell you, uh, more or less one year ago, Geraldine, that's true, one year, uh, we met in Rome when <laughs> Geraldine came uh, for the IFAD board meeting. And uh, we started to discuss what to do to promote youth, taking into account the main concern of the issue of migration. Who could realize for the numbers that uh, almost uh, two thirds to 75% of the people immigrating now from Africa are youth. Uh, that means exactly that uh, we are taking out the future of Africa. That what that means, really. So we said, but, but we can do. We, FAO, and let me tell you, you realize that we named Food and Agriculture Organization, and not AFO. We are not AFO. For us, food comes first. For many reasons, our founders decided to put food first. That's the main concern we have. That's why we want to eradicate hunger, because we believe that someone with hunger cannot do nothing, just fight to survive. So the basic line to start to think about doing something is to eradicate hunger. And unfortunately, we have a lot of hunger in Africa. And agriculture that comes next can help, no doubt. But agriculture alone cannot do much, as we have seen, especially traditional agriculture that only provides the subsistence level cannot be the future of Africa. Africa needs not only to produce for ourselves, for their population, but to help to provide food for the world, for other areas that they cannot produce enough food they need. So we discussed it and said, OK, let's convey a meeting. Uh, see if you, your president supported to do in Rwanda, as President Kagame at the time was uh, the, being the, the next African Union president. And uh, some time after, Geraldine came back and said, yes. We planned a meeting for, initially, we spoke about 200 people. Then she came back and said, no, let's target 300. You know that we had uh, registered the participants, 465 people during those two days here. That is a number <laughs> that certificate the success of this event. And as said by Tijani, that was the man that helped implement this on this for all the continent, not only for Rwanda, mobilizing our offices and our partners around all the countries in the region that we have participants from 41 countries of Africa, including countries for uh, North Africa, like Morocco, 
Tunisia, Egypt, and Sudan. Let me add to that, we listed 19 ministers, vice ministers, state ministers, permanent secretaries, and high authorities from different countries of the region. And also different partners like uh, the African Union, represented here by the Commissioner Josefa, the UNIDU from the DG Jan Smith, uh, Young, Lee Young, WMU, uh, the Secretary General Peter Italas, IFAD, the v Vice President Paul Winters, because the president of IFAD was with me uh, until uh, Saturday in Niger. And uh, he had another commitment that did not allow him to come here. Uh, and uh, ILO, you saw for the video guy riders that couldn't come also, but send the representative for Africa. And uh, other partners like CTA, Africa, ITU, MasterCard Foundation, African Development Bank, AGRA, NIPAD, and many others. And I was proud to see how many youth, young uh, people with their own business showing case in the corridors giving their cards, giving their flyers, proud of what they are doing. So that's to say that uh, we had a good start. What we will do next? I will leave to Geraldine to announce what we discuss today uh, with the President Paul Kagame. But we will join efforts with those organizations that have been here today that I had personally contact. We will join efforts to put up ways to create opportunities for the youth. This is what we want, create opportunities. Create the possibility for you to be here to see the future of these countries, to see the future of Africa. We firmly believe that providing youth opportunity, you not need to continue to look for opportunities abroad. We have the means to provide those opportunities for you here. And that includes not only the international organization, the foundations, and the other partners that we list. That includes the governments. The commitment made up by the President of Africa and Union today, President Kagame, is that this is a high priority for the African Union. Find the place for their use in Africa, not abroad. <laughs> of course, we want that agriculture to contribute to this creation of opportunities. But as I said, it's not only agriculture. Think about all the value chain that goes from the farm to the table. Think about on the food systems along those value chains. This is what we are talking about. So processing, transforming, elaborating food, cooking, preparing different dishes with local products, adding value to the raw material that we produce here, this is the way forward. 
And this is what we will be working together. This is not a promise. This is a commitment, not only from FAO, from all the organizations that I mentioned here, that supported, you received this document that is the concept note that was jointly elaborated by the, part, the organizations. And it's our commitment to work together. This was, this meeting was the first step. You know that the longest way forward started with the first step. We started it today. And I hope that we will be together. Because you know that uh, when you are in a hurry, you go alone. But want, if you want to go further, you need to go together. And we want to go further. We want to go with you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for participating. Thank you, you for encouraging us to do more that what we are doing is not enough. Thank you.